When Volkswagen showed us the all-new Jetta last year, it had all the makings of a competent, compact car. A great ride, good looks, spacious interior, great tech. However, what was strictly missing from that uh, equation was fun. So I'm here at the 2019 Chicago Auto Show, where Volkswagen has just unveiled the fun side of the Jetta. This is the 2019 Jetta GLI. Let's take a first look. So when I first saw the Jetta's design last year, I was actually really pleased with the look of it. It had a very Audi-esque, clean look, slightly a little too on the conservative side. You can see for the GLI version, they've definitely made some tweaks to show this as the basically sedan version of the GTI. You have that signature red accent that kind of goes through this middle section of the grille. The headlights will be standard LED, LED project projectors on all the GLI trims with an LED running light. No fog lights down here. Instead, Volkswagen kind of gave it a little bit more of an aggressive uh, front underbody skirt to give this car a little bit more of a meaner presence to it. Now this particular one that I'm showing you is the 35th anniversary model. It's got special uh, badging and unique black roof, special wheels, but overall if you guys want this vehicle you can take it between this or two different trims of the GLI. Now as you can see the uh, 18 inch wheels on this particular one has a really cool red outer lip. Uh, there's also a red one on the show floor that has a slightly directional design to the wheels. Now the wheels on this particular one on the 35th anniversary have this really unique red outer lip. They're 18 inch wheels wrapped in 225 tires. The brakes actually come from a Volkswagen Golf R. They're 13.4 inches in diameter, so they are massive performance brake. Now, to give this thing the actual credentials to be a performance GLI, um, Volkswagen did lower the suspension by about a half inch versus the standard model, and the rear suspension is a fully independent multi-links setup, which is a huge upgrade from the twist beam actually that you get in the standard Jettas. Now, at the back, you can see still the same Audi-esque clean look. You have standard LED taillights that go with the LED headlights, and then you actually have real genuine exhaust tips, unlike the fake ones you get on the standard regular Jetta and then you have this nice little rear diffuser area. Now the trunk also has a nice little subtle rear lip spoiler and then the trunk capacity is the same as the sedan. It's measuring around 15 uh, cubic feet of space. So underneath the hood of the new GLI, this is obviously the most important aspect because compared to the standard Jetta, there's a huge upgrade in performance. This is the two liter TSI direct injection four cylinder. It's the same one that we know in the current Volkswagen GTI. And surprisingly, Volkswagen didn't neuter the output. It makes 228 horsepower and 258 pound-feet of torque. Now that's an 18 horsepower boost and 41 more pound-feet of torque over the previous generation GLI. So Volkswagen isn't playing any more games. They basically made the GT or the the GTI version of the GLI. It's basically a sedan GTI. Now it all goes out through either a standard six speed manual transmission or an optional seven speed dual clutch transmission. So it's been upgraded by a gear versus the previous generation. Uh, Volkswagen also puts the power through the front wheels through an available uh, E-diff. They call it a VAG limited slip differential. So it should be able to put that power down. This vehicle should weigh a couple hundred pounds more than the standard Jetta, but I'll be definitely looking forward to taking this out, uh, out on the road when this vehicle does become available for drives. So stepping into the interior of the GLI, you can see this particular one has the transmission that enthusiasts wants, the six-speed manual. You can also get a seven-speed dual clutch for those of you who don't want to drive stick. Now, um, just like the standard Jetta, the interior is relatively nice. This isn't really the cheaped out Jetta that we saw on the Mark VI. You have basically a soft touch material on the upper dash. You have soft touch materials on the door panels. You have this carbon fiber look plastic trim. Overall, it's very nice. Now, this particular one is relatively basic in terms of the features. Volkswagen does offer their 12-inch digital cockpit display. You can also get the upgraded eight inch display here with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. This just has the standard layout, which most of you are definitely going to appreciate. You have dual zone automatic climate control, heated seats. You can also get features like a panoramic sunroof, heated and cooled seats, and like the 2019 Jetta, the regular one, automatic emergency braking and lane keep is actually standard equipment. So you can get the full suite of driver safety systems. Now the seats, these are the standard seats. They're not the kind of plaid seats that you get on a GTI, but they're actually really nice cloth. You can also upgrade to a full leather with the heated and cooled aspect. These hold you in place rather well. The transmission, the shifter, has really nice throws. Not quite as short as the throws you get in something like the Honda Civic Si, um, but the clutch has a nice low effort feel to it. It's also a nice springy action. It feels really good. So I'll be really looking forward to driving this new uh, GLI. Now let's hop into the back seat though really quick and see uh, how it compares in terms of space. So hopping into the back seat of the GLI, just like the regular Jetta, 
Volkswagen, Volkswagen pretty much offers one of the most spacious back seats in the compact sedan segment. You do have a rather large hump here that eats into the space for the middle passenger, but uh, in terms of legroom, I actually find plenty of legroom. The materials, unfortunately, they are downgraded. They're hard touch plastic. You only get one map pocket and then no rear seat air vents. But if you fold down this little armrest here, you have a nice little armrest with two cup holders. So overall, the back seat is very usable, very comparable to what you get in the current um, Civic sedan. Now, Volkswagen says this all new GLI sedan will be going on sale in the spring of 2019 with no pricing yet announced. I'm going to imagine it's going to be in the $25,000 range like an SI, but a fully loaded version like that red one over there is probably gonna be closer to $30,000, which I would happily pay considering all the features and the increased performance you get with this new GLI. For Redline Reviews of the 2019 Chicago Auto Show, I'm Sophie Bay.